Shalom. I want to say all praise to the Most High Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakal Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, pushing the doctrine of truth to the nation of Israel, who are scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, pursuant to the curses of Deuteronomy. All right. Title of this lesson is This is Why People Are Leaving the Christian Church. Okay, this is one of many reasons. But this has to be at the top of the list because it's nothing but folly. Okay? Now, those of you who've been in a Christian church, which most of us have, we probably most of us started off as Christians, and of course went to Caesar Borgier's house, the harlot house called the church, on Sundays to worship, right? Now, if you went to a holiness church, I'm sure you've witnessed, you know, members of the congregation that were supposedly endowed with the Holy Spirit. Now, in the mind of a Christian, when someone has the Holy Spirit, they either speak in tongues, which is Babel, in Christianity, you know that halawa shalawa talawa lawa 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 halawa lawa lawa lawa, that foolishness and folly that they speak in the Christian church, which is in their minds evidence that they have the Holy Spirit. Number two, you dance around, you jump up and down like a bunch of monkeys, right? Now neither is scriptural. Okay, you can't go anywhere in the Holy Scriptures. And find anything that talks about someone being endowed with the Holy Spirit and speaking a bunch of babble and nonsense. Because in the book of Corinthians, 1 Corinthians, if you are speaking in a language that no one understands, you're not edifying anyone but yourself. Okay? So we know that the speaking in tongues in Christianity is foolishness. All right, all intents and purposes. And uh, the dancing, well, that's nowhere to be found in the scriptures. And you'll see what I'm talking about because I'm going to go ahead and play the clip. Then we're going to break out some scriptures, but this is a few minutes of nothing but sheer tomfoolery in a Christian church. And this is why people are leaving the Christian church in uh, dramatic fashion. Okay, so let's check it out. Look at this fool. Look at this fool. Where is this in the scriptures? this in the scriptures. Look at Big Mama. You're going to hurt somebody. That cat's got more blood, it's, it's, uh, more sugar in his blood than a diabetic. Him too. Look at him. Just as sweet as they want to be. Look at this foolishness. What do you have here? A woman leading the congregation. That's not biblical. I suffer a woman not to teach. Look at this foolishness. got demons on. This is what I grew up watching. People acting a fool. 
first time I saw this was five years old, four years old. It scared the crap out of me. Sugar too sweet right there. She's having a seizure. Now this is what you call bug out. Foolish. to break out the scriptures now who is this edifying how is this edifying anybody it's not let's break out the scriptures let's prove that having the Holy Spirit doesn't mean you jump around like monkeys okay or speak gibberish and foolishness let's go to the book of Ecclesiastes Ecclesiasticus or Sirach I believe this is 39 yes 39 verse 6 when the Lord Salakia when the great Lord will he shall be filled with the spirit of understanding he shall pour out wise sentences and give thanks unto the Lord in his prayer. Let's read that again. Because this is saying a lot. Alright. You don't see this in the Christian church. For obvious reasons. Because this is a scripture that's foreign to them. Alright. All the scriptures are foreign to them. They don't read. They don't read. See. That foolishness. With the dancing around, acting like you got the Holy Spirit, was passed down from generation to generation. Because that's what I grew up witnessing. Right? I saw people jumping and dancing around in the church just like that. They never brought out the scriptures. They never gave us understanding of the Holy Scriptures. And we're going to find out why it's important to understand the scriptures. Alright? I mean, this is no light thing. That people think, well, you know, yeah, you can read the scriptures and get a little bit of uh, understanding of this and that, you know, but it's not that important. What's important is getting the Holy Spirit and, and dancing and showing the Lord that you're a fool for it. whatever foolishness that those Christians believe. OK, but that's the kind of stuff you hear. Anyway. I digress. Let me read that again. When the great Lord will, he shall be filled with the spirit of understanding. 
he shall pour out wise sentences and give thanks unto the Lord in his prayer. Now you're going to be filled with the spirit of understanding, also known as the spirit of truth, also known as the Holy Spirit, right? And when you're endowed with the Holy Spirit, how can someone tell? There's signs. Well, when I came into the truth, when I heard the brothers breaking down scriptures, I knew without a doubt the Heavenly Father was dealing with them on a spiritual level. Yes, he endowed them with his Holy Spirit so that they might understand the scriptures and be able to teach it to the rest of Israel. And that's what happened. Okay? So he was pouring out, the prophet that I heard was pouring out wise sentences, meaning he was breaking down scriptures. Okay? He was speaking prophecy. All right? He was talking about the prophecies throughout the Holy Scriptures. And in my mind, that was wisdom pouring out of them. Okay? Like Yahushua said, he that believeth in me, um, as the Scriptures have said, out of his uh, belly shall pour out uh, uh, rivers of living water and I'm roughly paraphrasing here I can't remember exactly but um, you know the scripture right and that's what happened when you come into this truth that's what you witness okay that is what you witness you hear the wisdom coming out of the prophet's mouth okay and again it's important for a reason. We're going to find out. He shall pour out wise sentences and give thanks unto the Lord in his prayer. He shall direct his counsel and knowledge. And in his secrets shall he meditate. It's pretty powerful. That says a lot. Let's go to the book of Proverbs, or Salakia. Let's go to the book of, uh, let's stay with uh, Sirach. Let's go to chapter 19, verse 19. The knowledge of the commandments of the Lord is the doctrine of life. And they that do things that please him shall receive the fruit of the tree of immortality. So why is it important to have that knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the Holy Scriptures? Because it's your bridge to salvation. Okay? It's the key to everlasting life. It's all about the doctrine. It's all about the understanding of the Holy Scriptures that's going to take you to that next level. Alright? And in order to get that understanding, well, the Heavenly Father has to breathe upon you. And now... Jehoshaphat's responsibility to do that, okay? He's been given the authority to release the Holy Spirit or send down the Holy Spirit from on high, okay? To quicken us, to give us the knowledge, the wisdom and understanding of the Holy Scriptures so that we might be saved, all right? So you don't get that understanding of anything in the Holy Scriptures or of the Holy Scriptures in the uh, Christian church, the only understanding that you get is the understanding on how to act like a damn fool. And we just saw that in this video. One more time. The knowledge of the commandments of the Lord is the doctrine of life. It's all about doctrine, contrary to popular belief. Okay? You need that doctrine of life. Okay, and they that do things that please him shall receive the fruit of the tree of immortality. Powerful. Powerful. Next scripture. Let's go to the book of Proverbs, chapter 4, verse 7. Wisdom is the principal thing. It's a priority. Okay, it's at the top of the list. Okay, of importance. Therefore, get wisdom. And with all thy getting of wisdom, get understanding. Wisdom is the principal thing. 
therefore get wisdom and with all thy getting get understanding understanding of what of the holy scriptures okay that doctrine of life that we just read about in the book of Sirach okay you need to understand these holy scriptures so that you might be saved it's all about the doctrine okay but without the Holy Spirit without being endowed with the Holy Spirit you don't get that understanding you don't get that understanding guess what you don't have the knowledge that's going to save you when it's time to be redeemed by our Lord Yahweh Shah who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ right wisdom is the principal thing get that understanding right let's go to the book of uh, Revelation chapter 11 verse 6 or, I'm sorry Salakia. chapter 11 verse 11 and after three days and a half the spirit of life from Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai entered into them and they stood upon their feet and great fear fell upon them which saw them why because they saw us standing on our feet that's a metaphor for having the knowledge the wisdom and understanding of the holy scriptures okay because after we got that breath that's how we got that understanding right and standing on your feet is a metaphor for having that knowledge wisdom and understanding okay because we were no longer spiritually dead we were quickened by the Holy Spirit sent down from Yahweh okay and that's how we stood on our feet that's how we're standing on our feet now all right those of you who are in the truth the hopeful elect all right this is how we're standing on our feet and that doesn't entail jumping up and down acting like a goddamn fool all right like those fools that we just watched in the christian church because rest assured they don't have the knowledge wisdom and understanding of the scriptures see in their mind you're supposed to wear your righteousness on your sleeve all right you're supposed to show people you have the holy spirit by jumping up and down and dancing and screaming and hollering and making ugly faces when you're in church right speaking in tongues this is how you show the world that you're righteous okay this is righteousness according to the christians <laughs> tomfoolery man nothing but tomfoolery and this is why people are leaving the christian church it's been a mass exodus especially from you jakes okay you negroes latinos and native americans you start to realize that something is amiss something is not right in the christian church okay because what they're teaching isn't isn't um in line with the holy scriptures okay now they're hearing the gospel taught by israelites especially the brothers of gms and the other camps with the likewise doctrine okay and they're realizing guess what i've been had in the christian church all right i am not being edified in church on sundays they pick up the bible they'll read a verse or two and then they'll center their their uh their sermon around those two scriptures all right i mean it was actually a very very brilliant and clever plan by esau edom okay to sort of uh brainwash the masses and bring legitimacy to Christianity because in the minds of most people Christianity appears to be the most legit it appears to be the most legitimate religion out of all the religions of the world okay especially since they were able to hijack the image of Yahweh why Yahweh shy okay we, we know what they did through uh, iconoclasm you know being the devils that they are all right let's continue 
Let's go to the book of Luke, chapter 24, verse 44. And he said unto them, These are the words which I spake unto you while I was yet with you, that all things must be fulfilled, which were written in the law of Moses, and in the prophets, and in the Psalms concerning me. All right, here's the point. Then opened he their understanding that they might understand what the scriptures let's read that again then open he their understanding that they might understand the scriptures well why is it important to understand the scriptures why is he driving this point home why is the heavenly father and his only begotten son driving the point home that the scriptures must be understood well we just read about it but guess what? Don't take my word for it. Let's read it again. Let's go back to Ecclesiastes chapter 19, verse 19. The knowledge of the commandments of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, is the doctrine of life. And they that do the things that please him shall receive the fruit of the tree of immortality. This is everlasting life in the kingdom of heaven. All right, that's why it's important to understand the Holy Scriptures. Okay, this is what you need to be saved, not dancing around like a bunch of goddamn monkeys. That's right, I said it. All right, let's go to the book of John, chapter 14, verse 17. Even the Spirit of Truth. That's that spirit of understanding whom the world cannot receive. Not everybody can receive the Holy Spirit or the spirit of truth because it seeth him not. Neither knoweth him, right? Of course they don't know. Him. They still think that by having the spirit of truth, that means you get to dance around and act a fool, break a sweat, knock people over in church, right? Dance like a woman if you're a man. Okay, this is what they seem to think, but they don't know the Holy Spirit, right? They can't see it, they can't hear it, and they don't know the Holy Spirit, okay? But those of us of the hopeful elect, we do. We know what the Holy Spirit looks like, okay? We're well acquainted with the Holy Spirit, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you, all right? And it's manifested, okay, by having the knowledge, the wisdom, and understanding of the scriptures, right? This is John 15, 26. But when the Comforter is come, whom I will send unto you from the Father. Who? Who's going to send the Holy Spirit or the Comforter? Yahweh Shai. Even the Spirit of truth which proceedeth from the Father, he shall testify of me. All right? This is a wonderful thing here, man. This is very powerful. All right. Let's go to the book of Acts. Okay, and this is another uh, good example of what uh, having the Holy Spirit looks like. Acts chapter 2, verse 4. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. And there were dwelling at Jerusalem Jews, devout men out of every nation under heaven. Now when this was noised abroad, the multitude came together and were confounded because that every man heard them speak in his own language. And they were all amazed and marveled, saying one to another, Behold, are not all these which speak Galileans? All right? See, the Holy Spirit made this possible because it gave them utterance. All right? And how we hear every man in our own tongue wherein we were born. So they're hearing men speak in their own tongues where in the nation... Uh, of their origin, okay? Well, not ne necessarily nation of origin, if they're Israelites, the nations that they were born in, okay? That sounds a little better, all right? 
because it sort of infers that you know these are these are Gentiles they're not natives to those countries all right anyway I'm gonna finish up with uh, Hosea chapter 4 verse 6 and we bring this one out a lot because our people are destroyed because they don't know a damn thing all right none of those people in the Christian church probably heard of Hosea chapter 4 verse 6 all right and they're going to be destroyed because of their ignorance because of their lack of knowledge the Heavenly Father is going to destroy them okay this is not the time to be ignorant like they say that that saying goes ignorance is bliss well it sure as hell won't be bliss when Yahawashai comes back because if you're ignorant when he comes back you're through you are toast all right you are numbered to the sword Jack my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge right because thou hast rejected knowledge rejected knowledge hey man you know you're an Israelite man I'm a black man I'm a African man I'm from the African diaspora brother <laughs> You see, they reject the knowledge of the scriptures. They reject the knowledge that they're Israelites. Okay? And with that knowledge, you're going to come to the understanding that, hey, I need to, to, to follow the Heavenly Father or uh, worship in spirit and truth. Follow his laws, his statutes and commandments. Okay? Believe in his son as the scriptures have said. All right? I need to get baptized with the word. See, and this is why it's important to realize that you're an Israelite, okay? Because it's, there's a specific way that the Heavenly Father wants to be worshipped, okay? From the elect of the nation of Israel, all right? That's why it's important to listen to the prophets. All right, let's continue. I will also reject thee that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God. I will also forget thy children. Okay? And it's a terrible thing to fall into the hands of the living power. And I'm roughly paraphrasing. Okay? You don't want to fall into the hand of Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh because he will wreck you. All right? Anyway, with that, I want to say all praise to the Most High Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rahaha Kadash, double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone, pushing this doctrine of truth to the nation of Israel who is scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. Till next time, peace and salutations to the hopeful elect and shalom.